Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Matthew Mark Nichols. I'm an actor, writer, teacher, an adventure, and just do some different uh, different little blogs, blogs on uh, on my life. And right now I'm in Igigik, Alaska, for a summer gig, uh, working for the city here. So today I'm going to take you just on a little uh, ride about uh, for what I do, um, probably three days a week. It's one of my major jobs here. I'm kind of the uh, industrial garbage man for the city and uh, take care of two of the fisheries, one of the fisheries this year, and then uh, three other uh, city dumpsters that I'll take care of. So I'll take you along in a ride, kind of show you a little bit of what I do, and uh, show you one of the hats that I wear. So come on, let's take a look. Okay, so now I am <clears throat> driving the truck out to the dump to uh, empty this container. I just picked up a different one and uh, I'm going to head out to the dump and it's a little bit of a bumpy ride so I don't want to do too much video on this but this is the next step. It's about a 10 minute ride out of town to uh, location of the dump. We have a lot of ptarmigans here, which are always on the side of the road. They're not the smartest bird in the world. They fly or walk in front of the trucks a lot, as you can see. So hopefully this little guy or girl will get out of the way. Come on. Oh, there's another one. The ptarmigan are a pretty popular bird around here and they will nest on the side of the road, a lot of the sides of the road. And uh, as I was saying, they're not the smartest birds in the world. They will fly right in front of the truck. You have to dodge a lot and uh, try not to hit them, but uh, they're pretty birds. It's kind of a brown and white with a red little head, so kind of kind of neat. I'll have to show you this on a different day, but straight up ahead, off in the distance, you can see Whaleback Mountain, and then there's another really beautiful mountain called Pulik, which is to the right of it, and there's a big, beautiful lake in between them. It's several miles upriver, but it's very beautiful. Not today though. Then we got a big raven up here. Some, they're huge here. They're monster ravens. Uh, this one built a nest on top of the, the excavator, but the nest didn't make it. So I think she's a little bummed out right now.
sleep. I found the bear print and there it is. And you can see I wear a nine and a half boot and that's how big the bear's paw is. So uh, the guys were telling me that that's a pretty big brown bear. We don't know if it's a female or a male, but uh, big. So you got to keep your eyes out and uh, just, you know, be aware and be careful. But uh, pretty big. Okay, I don't know if the wind is going to be bad. I don't have my new microphone yet, but you can see where the bear got under the fence here and then kind of picks its favorite bag and has a snack of it. So just another reason why I got to watch out while I'm doing this. But uh, yeah, that's one of our problems here. It's a the big rodent brown bear <laughs> that comes in through the fence for a little bit of dinner. Just glad they're not here while I'm doing my thing. guys that's it for today thanks a lot for taking the ride along with me I was happy I was able to show you a little bit of what I do here kind of the basic job that I'll do three days a week but I wear a lot of other hats and, and do a lot of other things but that's one of my main ones so I was happy you could be here with me and I'll have a lot more as we go along throughout the summer showing you the, uh, the ins and outs of the city so thanks again to my two loyal viewers appreciate you thanks again to everyone else coming along for the adventure please hit that like and subscribe because it'll help the channel to grow or even that notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out and as always see you back here again very soon